Okay, Craig Roberts talking to Michael Crawford at your fitness gym about our training for Mount Vincent expedition. So Michael, first question I wanted to have a chat to you about was uh, first, uh, what training plan have you got in place between now and November for the expedition? Um, so mostly from now on in we'll be doing a bit more functional training for Craig. We want to get him used to uh, his body working the oxygen as much as possible that he breathes. The atmosphere gets pretty thin up the top of the Mount Vincent. Um, also, we want him, his body to be used to strength and conditioning type exercises, so something where he can, he can uh, maintain that type of intensity, so it's a lower intensity for a longer amount of time. His muscles have got to be able to contract and keep contracting and holding him, and especially with using his core at the same time, having a, quite a heavy pack at times on his back. So, yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be working in those areas mostly, and definitely lots of cardiovascular to try and get his uh, cardiovascular system as efficient as possible and uh, so he's uh, has no problems handling those big climbs and, and harsh conditions. Great. And now Craig's doing some uh, TRX push-ups on uh, gym ball. So really making him unstable, making his core work overtime the whole time. His core wasn't working right now, it'd be flopping right now. The, uh, Oh, you can see his core is really strong after some extensive core training. And he's not going all the way up body strength as well here. And you can see core and all the leg muscles and arm muscles working together. So that's making, making all these muscles used to working all at the same time. Alright, cardiovascular training day today. Um, the reason we do lots of high intensity cardiovascular training is to get the body nice and efficient with using the oxygen. So in Antarctica the atmosphere is already quite thin um, as opposed to our atmosphere in Cairns or Australia or anywhere else down low in the in Antarctica it's a lot thinner already so that's one factor that Craig's got to deal with and the second factor is when he starts to climb Mount Vincent it's going to get even thinner again so the more efficient we can get his body at, at using the oxygen with high intensity cardiovascular the better we're going to be. Alright, so cardiovascular now, Craig, we're going to add a few gears on here. Out of the way. Oh, I worked it the other way. <laughs> so crank it up, you feel it get a bit harder? Yep. And we're going to hold there for 30 seconds, so just reach out to the handlebars there. Start to feel the heart rate come up. Yep. Thanks. It's alright. <laughs> alright, so he's already been working for a few minutes here. We're going to focus on high interval training. So he starts down at a reasonably hard level. You're going to reach down and add a big turn on that dial. Reach up, stand up, start climbing. Out of the saddle. Add a bit more of a turn. That's it. See those legs slow down. That's it. Put in those hard yards. 20 seconds to go. That's it. Drive those legs down. You can see he's really starting to work. Heart rate is climbing. Legs are starting to feel. He's got to push through for another... 10 seconds. Almost there mate. First interval nearly done. Push to the end. And rest. Grab a seat, back off some resistance. Good for emergency. So we're backing right off now, give him a bit more recovery. Let the heart rate come down. And we're going to hit him again with the cardiovascular. How'd that one feel? Great. <laughs> Silence is good. Hey Michael, next question. What sort of um, difficulties are we going to come up against when we're training in the tropics as opposed to the fact that we're actually be climbing a mountain in Antarctica? How are we going to overcome that? Alright, um, okay, obviously in the tropics your body is is pretty, uh, it's pretty used to using the water up, okay, so um, it sweats a lot to pull itself down. As you get to a, in a place like Antarctica, your body's going to want to hang on to its water, so it's going to be doing different things straight away. So, um, yeah, it's, your body will be being exercised in a different, different temperature, sub-zero temperature as opposed to plus 30 temperature with humidity up to 100% humidity and obviously condition changes back 
down in Antarctica. So there will be uh, there will be big differences in the, the climate and differences in effect on the body as well. All right. So what's a good place we should go and train and sort that out? How are we going to get over that? Um, I've been we've sort of been talking. I think come up with a few places where we can come and uh, maybe put an exercise bike in and maybe bring a few dumbbells down and, and put Craig to the test in uh, under under 20 degrees. Uh, sorry, in, in negative 20 degrees uh, conditions. Find a freezer somewhere, and um, I'll make sure I've got a nice woolly coat and make sure Craig's in his singlet. <laughs> Thanks for that.